Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan and welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, hang on. Oh. Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan and welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, I'm a blacksmith. Let's talk about heat treating. Okay, so I'd just quickly like to talk about an issue that um, was brought up by one of the, one of, I think you're a subscriber. I hope you're a subscriber. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. But maybe you are. But you made a comment and you made a fair point and we had a conversation about uh, the point that you made. Oh, it's all here. Um, this is going to be a fairly short video and this is just to cover a little issue that I may have made in the previous video that I definitely need to talk about because um, I don't want you guys going and hurting yourself. Um, so it's to do with the quenching medium I used. This here, engine oil, well it's not engine oil, it's, um, it's just old oil. It's not particularly motor oil, it's not a mineral oil, it's not synthetic oil, I have no idea what it is. It's just nice thick oil used in mechanical machines. Now I, I didn't, didn't explain the health and safety issues behind using oil in the workshop. It, um, and um, AdWorks, uh, I think that's your name, AdWorks, he pointed out that um, engine oil, uh, used motor oil, may have some health implications to go with it if you use it as a quenching medium. Um, I mentioned in the video I normally do this outside and I normally, uh, I don't can't remember if I said I wear a respirator or not, um, but if you are, at, at, and now I'm going to suggest that you do this with all of your mediums. Uh, all of your quenching mediums, because especially you know the flammable ones that give off gases when you put anything in them, uh, you should firstly be wearing a particular filter. Um, these are carbon replaceable filters. Um, I normally wear this when I'm doing my heat treating, um, and it's and the reason is the gases that are given off are harmful to humans and animals alike. Uh, so you shouldn't be doing it. I don't normally do this inside, I normally do it outside. I uh, walk over with work and use a magnet and stuff and whatever. I try not to do that process inside. Um, and if I was intending to make this video and say you know, how to heat treat things professionally, I'd tell you to go to a professional company and get stuff heat treated. Um, the aim of the videos was to teach uh, backyard blacksmiths and beginner blacksmiths. Um, as work's point was, um, you should use, uh, it's less harmful to use for your phys physical health, it's less harmful to use um, vegetable oils and it's cheap enough to use vegetable oils. So why wasn't I using one? I should stop using engine oil. I was taught at college to use used oils. Um, whether or not they're right or wrong, I don't know. I tried to find some evidence to back up what you were saying. I couldn't. Uh, if you have that evidence ads, I'd love it. Uh, please send it to me and let's have another discussion about this. Um, I, yeah, so basically that's what I'm saying. But whenever you're, you're working with oils um, for quenching, you should remember some certain things and I'm gonna go over those now. The first thing is, obviously the gases that are given off are harmful to you and you should be wearing a respirator. This is, these are charcoal filters. These filters down so that you can use for spray painting and stuff. So they're quite, um, they're quite good at filtering out a lot of the, the rubbish that's in the air. And these are rechangeable ones. Um, I recommend that you use rechangeable ones. They're a lot, uh, a lot more cost effective. Um, don't go and use one of those paper mask things. They're no good. You need a proper charcoal filtering, proper super duper uh, respirator. Uh, stay there, I'm just gonna get some more bits. Okay, you should also have a fire extinguisher handy. This is a powder type fire extinguisher. It's less than a year old. It's um, because these are designed to deal with oil fires uh, and or petroleums or wood fires. And basically these work, you know, if you start spraying water on this fire, you're gonna give yourself a whole load more problems. So don't, don't use water, okay? Uh, the other thing is the best way to put out a fire that might occur from, um, from an oil, uh, an oil fire is to suffocate it like so. Um, I, well, don't lean on it, uh, but this is um, this is a good way to put a fire out. Um, you'll suffocate it. You'll stop the air uh, getting to it, so it will put the fire out pretty rapidly. 
Um, why are we getting fires? I made a point about this, completely submerge the work in the oil, um, in your medium, and keep it nice and low down so that the oil can't get hot enough to set on fire. You see these guys, um, I don't know if you guys are into this, but if you like uh, men at arms, you're watching them dipping into hot tanks, no, no protective equipment on them, a pair of gloves, and then flames licking up on their arms. Well, that, as far as I'm concerned, that's just stupid, right? Oh. So, uh, they, they're, they're the issues that I did not cover properly in the video, and I apologise that I didn't cover those properly. Thank you for raising those up as points if you did. Uh, there were some other comments made about some things that I talked to people about. Um, yeah, and I, I don't know. I don't know if there's any truth in those either. I'm not going to bring them up in this video. Um, I'm quite happy to talk to people about those, but you know, as far as issues go, I don't see them. I don't see them as issues. Um, but that's my opinion. Um, I have as much data to give to you, like reliable sources, written down documents to give to you on the subject, as you to I. So let's uh, let's leave it at that um, and, and call it a draw on that one. But Mr. Ads, you're quite right. Um, I did not cover the health and safety whilst using oil in the workshop at all well and this is the reason for part 2.5. So 2.3, I still, I'm, I'm a part 3, I still have part 3, it's on its way. Um, I do promise you this video is going to come out and then hopefully I can get back on the flow of bringing out one heat treating video a week. Um, unfortunately, oh, I know you're all going to be really upset with me, um, that the heat treating video in the hammer one is so long, it's going to be in two pieces. Otherwise, I'm going to be uploading like an hour long video and I don't want to do that. I want to cover everything really well. So there'll be the hardening of the hammers and then the tempering at the end, uh, which I hope you guys will enjoy. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I know it's only a little tiny one. Um, Chuck your comments down below, I really like hearing from you guys and anything that you think that I may have done wrong in this video, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I think you should, you, know, you should take your health and safety in the workshop really seriously. If you like this video enough, why don't you subscribe if you haven't already and go and check out some of the other videos on my channel. I've got how to makes, I've got all sorts of content on there that you might like, some vlog stuff coming up. Um, so hopefully that you might get something else out of it. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick part one here and then I'm going to stick part two here and I will see you later guys. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.